says, I'm going to locate, and there's a little bit of a history lesson here. The original airmail route back in the 20s was probably one of the most dangerous jobs you could do as a pilot. And the majority of that was navigation-based uh, fatalities. And what I mean by that is that to literally navigate from when they were uh, originating to deliver this mail to their destination, there's a lot of discrepancies. Weather was a big killer. Airplane engine reliability was not the best in the 20s. Uh, Curtis Jenny, I mean, there's a great engine, I believe, you know, the Liberty engine, if you know some history of the vintage airplane world. But overall, it's just, it was a very questionable, the engine reliability was not there. Weather was a big killer. And then navigation, compasses worked to a degree, but not in a degree that yielded a successful navigational trajectory. So they came up with, I kid you not, these giant cement arrows. <laughs> and they navigated by these cement arrows. It's the most crazy thing I've ever read about. So we took this, loaded it up, brought my paramotor, and we are headed north through Wyoming because some of these 105-year-old navigational arrows still exist. There's, they're loaded across the U.S. And I'll point in the map on the screen the map of these arrows and the routes that these airmail route or pilots flew. And uh, I'll talk more about it. But yeah, that's, that's where we're headed. We're headed north right now. And it's windy. And I don't even know if the microphone is picking up any of this audio. Wyoming so it's a Woodrow Wilson uh, Airway, the first transcontinental airmail route. Airmail service began in the U.S. between New York and Washington in 1918 not only to speed mail delivery, but to help train pilots for the First World War. By 1920, the Woodrow Wilson Airway spanned the continent to San Francisco. Major Wyoming stops included Cheyenne, Rollins, and Rock Springs. Just like the Pony Express before, the airmail service utilized a relay system with multiple planes and pilots to speed mail delivery across the country. During the first eastbound flight on the Woodrow Wilson Airway, Jack Knight went down in airmail history by flying 839 miles from Cheyenne to Chicago through winter weather and poor visibility to get the mail through. Throughout southern Wyoming, you can find remains of the airway beacons that helped mark the airway for night flying. Beacons consisted of a small shed, tower with light, and in many cases, a concrete arrow for daytime flying. And they were erected every 15 to 20 miles along the airway. It's stormy as well. Like, there's literally a big storm brewing over there. And it's supposed to rain tonight, so I'm hoping I get a weather window to fly the paramotor. And I want to try to navigate by nothing more than the cement arrows and a compass, if I can use it. I'll probably use a digital compass. But I want to fly the paramotor as if it was doing an airmail route. And I'll probably do a little mail and send a, a butt photo to her. That's what I'm mailing, so. All right. So um, we are almost three hours in to our destination, which is Medicine Bow, not Bull, Bow, like a bow and arrow, Wyoming. And our plan is to find the original GPS coordinates of where this airmail route arrow is and it's in this town, apparently. It's not too far from here. I think it's in the middle of nowhere, but... As you can see. As you can see. And we have a storm there, there's a storm there. Heck, there's a storm there. So, it's... The weather is not really in our favor. This is the lovely town of Medicine Bow. That is their only restaurant, probably. Yeah, wow. This is probably that super historic hotel, huh? Yep. So, you wanna guess what the population is here? It is 245. Wow. 
So, why am I doing Medicine Bow? Uh, because it's one of the main stops as far as guidance for the airmail route. So coming from the west coast to the east coast and vice versa, it was a Cheyenne route and it came through Wyoming. I'm doing this particular one here, it's not too far from Medicine Bow, because the quality of this particular airmail guidance route is in really, really good shape from what I'm, the information I've gathered. There's not a lot of information on it, but of all the ones I've looked at along the Wyoming route, this one is in the best shape. In fact, it still has the original lighted tower with the generator box on it. Anything that's been standing for the last 105 years. So that's why we are essentially driving in the middle of nowhere, AKA Medicine Bow. So we are going to camp out here for the night. It's windy. It's not as windy as I thought it would be though. Especially with all these storms that are essentially glittering over here. Glittering the whole landscape. Right side of me and film my take off. That way. This one? Mixing gas, spanking ass. <laughs> if you ain't mixing gas, you ain't spanking ass.
Hi. <laughs> Feel my hands. I don't know. Mine are just oh. as cold. <laughs> wow. Well,